Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and welcome to Friday, April the 30th. Now, why am I telling you the date? That is the day that Streetcar Takeover Bristol actually begins. I had to work today, so unfortunately I didn't get to go down today, but we are going down tomorrow and we'll have a full vlog on that as well. We are actually taking the Mustang down. I have not had this car on the track, and truth be told, I have had no car on a track since 2004 when I was in my second gen non-turbo Eclipse. I've never raced at a pro, on a pro tree or any of that. So this is going to be a complete new learning experience. I have drag raced motorcycles quite a bit at the track, but as far as cars, I'm just now like for the past couple years really getting back into it and I just have not been to the track. So we are going to try to enter the 12.0, uh, I think it is the street mild class. So uh, it's a 12.0 index. I'm going to get the Mustang ready. So we're going to take it down on street tires. We're going to trailer it down just in case the old MT-80 decides to give out or a drive shaft or axles or anything else the car is pretty much stock except for an x-pipe axle backs and a jlt cold air intake so we're actually going to install the boss 302 intake that i have i have an 18 manifold and a boss manifold but the car is going to be boosted eventually and i think they said that the boss is just a better boost intake i think they said the 18 was better in a but it is what it is i don't want to change it twice so we're going to do the boss 302 intake today it's not going to be a how-to there's plenty of them online uh we we are not going to get that $200 install kit because all you need is two foot of three ace fuel line and two clamps for the purge valve relocation and it's pretty much all you need other than that is the boss 302 intake and we also have a new tune on the sct so i will get it uploaded as well um i got some baseline draggy testing the other night so i kind of know where it was before the intake and if i get time tonight i'm actually going to try some more baselines to see exactly what the boss helped with because i know the red line um is raised to about 7500 i think you can shift that if the mt82 will do it i uh, do have the clutch spring removed we have mgw shifter and other than that the drive line is pretty much stock so there's a good chance that something breaks at bristol and uh, hopefully i'm not foreshadowing this but my buddy kenny that also has a coyote let me borrow his uh drag radials just in case we need him to get to that 12.0. Everybody's telling me the car should be in the high 11s with the drag radial, so hopefully I can get it there. Like I said, I haven't been on the track in a while. Probably not the best driver in the world right now. Just need some seat time. The big thing today is getting this Boss 302 intake installed, getting the car tuned, getting a baseline run, and then get both the car and my truck cleaned up to get the Mustang loaded on the car trailer and off to Bristol. So let me shut up and give you a cold start. I actually put it in the garage behind Blucifer. So we got Blucifer and we got Black Ops, but today Black Ops is gonna be the focal point of this. The car is absolutely filthy. It is sat outside. They have been working on a busted water line. So dirt and everything went all over the car. Oh man, it looks horrible. We're gonna get everything cleaned up. So here is the engine bay as it sits. The only thing that, like I said, was done is the cold air intake. And we did do the sound tube delete and painted the coil covers red, but this strut bar is going to go. I Actually have a BMR strut bar from Just Fast Online. That actually clears the boss intake and it's red, so it's all gonna work out. So I'm gonna gather some tools up, put you guys on a time lapse, and go ahead and get this thing taken apart. We've got our boss 302 intake here. It's still wrapped up in all of the bubble wrap and everything. The cool thing is I bought some side skirts off of a guy that's actually over there sitting on the Raptor that will be going on those. They are just the regular gloss black ones. He actually gave me a stock throttle body, stock fuel rail with injectors and everything. So I can actually go ahead and install these on the boss and not worry about swapping over my factory ones because I have another set of factory ones. So that will save a little bit of time. So let me get this unwrapped. Let me get all this bolted together. Then we'll get that stock intake off and this boss swapped in its place. Perfect.
All right, guys, so we got the stock intake off. I was going by one of the videos on YouTube and it made it look a lot easier than really what it was. Some of those clamps were horrible. Like I get the joke that apparently engineers hate mechanics and mechanics hate engineers because of that. The intake is off. I've cleaned uh, the valley. It's time, I guess, to put the boss on. Hopefully this goes a little bit more straightforward than it did coming off. Let's give it a shot. All right guys, so I don't know what in God's name happened to the GoPro, but after it fell that last time, it turned off and would just not turn back on. So I put it on charge for like the past 30 minutes and luckily it came back on. So we're back in business. However, I'm on a time crunch. So I went ahead and got everything installed. And there are a couple of things of note if you're going to do this. The purge valve relocation, uh, you do just need two water clamps and some 3 8 fuel line and you will relocate it to underneath the front of the boss intake right up under the throttle body. The big thing is with your cold air intake, there are different couplers for this because this puts the throttle body facing about 30 degrees down. It, it was really hard to get this on. If you can kind of see, it's not on there perfect, but it is sealed. So I am going to order that other coupler because Air Raid makes a separate coupler that will actually go for the boss intake. But this worked, shouldn't have a problem. This does set up just a little bit higher, but where we have the aftermarket hood, I think that we're gonna be okay. I haven't even tried to close it yet, but everything else I believe is installed. So I'm going to try to start the car. All right, guys, so we got the new radiator shroud, um, whatever you want to call it. I think it's radiator shroud or splash guard or something. Anyway, it just pops in uh, with these little push clips everywhere. I'm missing one for whatever reason, but I'll order one and get it put on. But anyway, there is the completed installation of the new boss manifold. Luckily, that little issue we did have was just me being an idiot and leaving the mass airflow unplugged. Did test the hood and it closes just fine, so no problems there. So now the next thing is going to be go eat and eat dinner, load the tunes onto the SCT, get this car uploaded with the new tune for the boss. And I realized that I told the tuner last time the wrong rear end ratio, which is why my speedometer has been off, but it's actually 331 gears. So hopefully uh, we won't have any issues. After we get this tune uploaded, then I'm gonna take the draggy back to Mexico, do a couple more runs and see if it helped it any. And then wash the car, wash the truck, and get both of them loaded up, get the tools loaded up, and head off to Bristol in the morning. All right, guys, I got the tunes uploaded, but first I'm gonna go ahead and put on the new BMR strut bar. It is used to clear the ball sand tape manifold. As you can see, it's kind of curved, but anyway, it just lays on there just like the stock one does. So I thought, guessing with this powder coat, it makes it a little bit harder. Yeah. That or I've got it on backwards. Could have it on backwards. To be continued. Oh yeah, we got the BMR strut bar installed. Forgot to show you. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this tune put in there so we can get this thing tested. There it is. Yes, it's a Bama tuner. Oh my God, it's gonna blow up. Which it may, who knows. But anyway, I've had good luck with it and my car made good power and the tune was actually uh, pretty daggone good. Turn the key on. Ciao. 
processing. Ooh, 93 race, boys and 3% girls. Might take some time. I'll see you guys in four hours. All right, guys, so the tune is now in it. So this is the baseline dragging times. This was on street tires, um, kind of cold out. DA was 38.68 and did a 12.91 at 111.98. Uh, that one didn't register a quarter, but it went 8045 at 88 in the eighth. Uh, this one was 1288 at 111.92. Um, the 60 foot's what's killing me. It's spinning. It's on street tires. And my shifts looks like they take forever. But this was 1279 and then a 1274 at 112.50. Uh, again, the shifts are horrible. Uh, 60 foot is horrible, which I have drag radials if needed. My buddy Kenny that has a faster coyote than me, uh, let me use them. So we're going to go test, take the draggy. I've got it in here. Still got the draggy. We're going to put it on the Mustang, go to Mexico and see exactly if it helped. I mean, it may not have, but it could have, especially top end. I think the red line is now raised to 7,500 up from 7,000 because they said the boss will pull to 7,500. So we're going to head to Mexico and I will show you the results after we're done. All right, guys, so I'm back from testing and the car did luckily hold together, didn't have any problems. So next thing, I guess I'm going to wash the car, get it loaded on the trailer, I guess, get ready to go to Bristol. Like I said, I have not been on a track since 2004. So what is that 17 years now? 16, yeah, going on 17 years. A Little bit nervous about it, but all's good in the world. Hopefully we get this thing done very soon. I have some new goodies in for it. Not sure if I showed you. But our good friends over at Brian Tooley Racing uh, got us some goodies. So the vet will have a little bit of chop chop here soon. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and catch that. But I'm going to go ahead and watch this car, get it loaded up and everything. Get this video edited and try to get it up tonight. That way I can just film all day at Bristol tomorrow. I am coming back home afterwards. I'm only about three hours from Bristol. So we're gonna leave about 6 a.m. Get down there probably a little over after nine. Uh, hopefully we get some test and tune. I do have drag radials, like I said, if we have to, because the car picked up mile per hour on the street, but it is still on the street tires. So it's gonna have to have a clutch too. Those 7,500 RPM shifts is not liking it. And going in from third, from third to fourth, uh, it was just locking me out, so it's no good there. But guys, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button if you like the content. Like I said, more stuff coming with the vet. Obviously, the Mustang. Some truck stuff and maybe some motorcycle and off-road stuff. We'll see. But anyway, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.